Hmm. All right. So, hello everyone. This is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithali.com. And um I'm having here I feel like this Facebook is now giving me a weird the weird way. So, I'm not really sure if I am showing up right. And also, can you all tell me if you can hear me fine? Um, I am trying out a microphone that my husband gave me for the Facebook lives and I don't know if I, if this is working and hola gordita and so anyway, so first let me just see that I am in the right place because the way it was showing was a little bit weird. Okay, so you can hear me. Okay, good deal. Because Every time I try something new, there's always something else going on. And then, like I said, when I was going live, there was a different screen this time on Facebook. I mean, you gotta love Facebook. It always changes every single time. So, but anyway, so thank you so much for being here. I am excited. I'm going to be doing very simple cards today, showing the hand painted um, bundle and suite, which it's from the annual catalog. Uh, in my head, I think that at this time, we're all needing thank you cards. And so... Definitely, that's what I'm going to be showcasing today. So, hi, Don. Say hello to Lenny. By the way, I got your card today, so I'll share here shortly. And so, as we're getting ready, I'm going to start, as always, just sharing with you the upcoming classes. Um, I've been very, very busy trying to get everything ready for January. And um, I actually have most of the things typed up, uh, already filmed. And upload it however because the catalog is not live the new catalog the january through june new catalog is not live yet i cannot put all my links so i won't be able to finish them until probably january 3rd or january 4th when it goes live so but everything else is ready like i said all videos have been filmed everything is already uploaded into youtube and i have the pdf I, it's just a matter of adding all the links so um, so if you're looking for the tutorials, we just have to be waiting until um, until uh, January 4 so that you can get the tutorials because again, there's no links right now to any of the supply list. So anyway, so oh great that you got the card too. And um, so anyway, so um, so here's the first one is our card club, which you know, card club is the subscription that I have. You get about twenty dollars worth of products and a kit every month. And when you stay uh, active or when you have six months in a row, then you'll get an extra goodie back with $25 worth of products. So anyway, so if you're interested in that, I have in the description um, information about Cart Club, all the different things. Also, you can subscribe or wait there. Um, the last day to sign up is go it's going to be January 7th, so soon approaching. And as you can see, I am featuring the brand new uh, Sweet Conversations Suite. Uh, which is all about Valentine's and let me just show you here the bundle I brought with me all the bundles so that you can kind of see it because we cannot open the catalog just yet but I can show you what the bundle looks like so it is sweet conversation so it is sweet talk the bundle no the sweet but the bundle is the sweet conversations which is the one that we use on that one again that's for the car club it is $39 already with shipping and like I said, it's a monthly subscription, so every month you'll get a different, a different uh, card kit in the mail with already with everything to make your cards, as well as uh, twenty dollars worth of products. So anyway, so the next one is going to be our paper share. I've been sharing lots of uh, information about that already, links and everything. So let me just share here real quick. I have already all eight of the cards, so. I'm just going to give you a quick sneak peek. So it is all eight. So uh, every single car features one of the different, um, one of the different, um, what am I saying here, papers. And you can take as a paper share with and add the ribbon share. And there's also, we're using two different sets. So one is the Dahlia's Days bundle, which is this one. So this is the one that we're going to be using on all your cards for the flowers and embellishments. And of course, it comes with a die set. Um, so in the registration form, you have an option to add the Dahlia Deus and, this, and the Celebrate You stamp set. And I'll show you here 
certainly the Celebrate You stamp set. And this is the one that we use for all the sentiments. Now, what I love about this one is that it has lots of different occasions. Father's Day, birthday, Easter, welcome little, uh, little ones, so for babies, um, uh, weddings as well, um, anniversaries, Mother's Day, uh, congratulations. So definitely a good set to have. And so these are the ones that are um, that you can add to your bundle. Of course, if you don't have them, you can substitute it. That's why I want to share with you or show you how they look so that you know exactly what we're doing. And then the next is the card class. And I already sent a registration link also for this one. And it is the Rainbow of Happiness. And so look at all the cards. It's featuring um, the Rainbows and Sunshine Designer Series paper, which is going to be from the celebration offering starting in, in January. Uh, you also get um, the, the bundle that is being featured is the Rainbow of Happiness. And so you can see all the cards are super cheerful, super happy, super everything, right? Like, I just feel like this is going to be a really good one. And the bundle, it's this one. It's called Rainbow of Happiness. And you can see here there's the die set that we're going to be using for all your samples. And then the uh, stamp set, which this is the one that we're going to be using to make the rainbows. So definitely a great one to have as well. And, um, and then the last card class that I have, uh, which is going to be released sometime in January, end of January, I think. We'll see how things go. But it is featuring the flowering tulips. You all know that my favorite, my favorite flower is the tulips. And so I couldn't resist. I was super excited when I saw the beautiful die set that we're going to be getting to make all the tulips. So this class is coming up. And... Um, and so make sure you're my, in my mailing list because that's where I'm going to be sharing with you um, all the registration links. Of course, you can email me at Ali at Creating with Ali. And uh, you can see here all the paper is amazing. And of course, the colors are just gorgeous. There's purple. And of course, you know, I love purple. So I just love everything about it. And the dyes really um, are fantastic. So let me just show you how the bundle looks. So this is the stamp set. And this is the die. And as you saw from my samples, I pretty much went crazy with the dies because I love that you can do kind of a 3D type of tulips. We already have a tulip set um, in the annual catalog, which I love. I think that this goes really well and it has a punch. But I couldn't resist getting the one so that you can do 3D tulips. Like I said, I love tulips and so definitely want to give it a try. So those are all the classes that I have going on. Like I said, I'm going to start sending all the uh, registration forms uh, for that on my email list. So make sure you're on that. In the description of this video, um, if you're watching on YouTube, it will be below. But if it's here on Facebook, it's going to be on the top. You can go ahead and look for the bit.ly forward slash stay in contact with Ali. And that way you get all the registration forms for all the classes. Um, also, for the card club, you can get more information at creatingwithali.com forward slash card club. Okay, so let me start flipping the camera and we'll go from there. So just give me one second. Done. Don't get DC as we transition. I think we're good. Oh, and of course, here is the host code for tonight. Let me just move all the cards here um, and all the bundles. And then, like I said, we're going to be working with the hand pennant. And for this one, like I said, I'm going to be using... Oh, where's the... Oh, oh, where's the... Hmm, I don't know what I did with it now. Well, I'll have to look for it. Because um, I, I might want to be using the... Um, the die, Oh, here, it's like, oh, what I did... Oh, no, that's not the die set. Oh, my goodness. Every single time happens. I go live and then I lose everything here. But anyway, we'll go from there. But we're going to be... Oh, here it is. So like, here is the bundle. So as a bundle, it is $46.75. So you save 10%. And um, I wanted to make sure I had the die because I might want to play with this. I'm not sure just yet. Because um, I was going to be using only this image. But I was thinking maybe I can do something with that. I don't know. Maybe not. Who knows? But anyway, so here is the... Um, die set with that one and although like I said we're going to be doing thank you cards and although there's a thanks here for what I am working this one is kind of too big and and you're going to see what I mean in a second 
Um, so I am going to be pairing it with the sweet as a peach because I want this one. It's just skinnier and larger. So I think this one will go nicer with my cars. And again, you'll see what I mean um, on a second. So um, anyway, and let me just get here with the comments. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Yes, we did have a really good uh, time with the family here. Um, <laughs> Sharon, no, 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 not, not tomorrow. It's today. Today is Tuesday, right? Yeah, today is Tuesday. So yeah, today is the day. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Sharon. Um, hi, Kathy. Hi, Betsy. <laughs> hi, Rose. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead. Uh, oh, Pat, you're here. Glad, glad, glad. Oh, and you know what I forgot to show you here before? Well, we'll do it at the end. But at the end, I'll show you some of the cards that I have gotten. These are gorgeous. So definitely wanted to share it with you as well. So anyway, so let's go. First of all, uh, like I said, I want to make several of thank you cards. Because, uh, I mean, with the holidays and, you know, you always get something. And so it would be nice to say thank you. Right? Um, so, oh, and you know what? Let me move also, put some light in here. Is that better? Hopefully that's better. Hold on. All right, so hopefully that's a little bit better. I don't know that that helps a lot. But anyway, so I was thinking about using the, um, what are the, the notes? The, oh, the note cards, is that right? The basic white note cards, because it comes with 20. It already has a 20 card stocks. Uh, cut out and already scored and then it comes also with the 20 envelopes and these are smaller so I thought it would be really good to use them and not only that uh, you get 20 envelopes and card bases and it is only seven dollars so I thought it was a good deal so definitely want to be doing this one and then also thought we can use this one for so many design series paper plus that's the other thing that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do as much with designer series paper these days, mainly because I know there's a new catalog coming up. And so uh, I'm sure we're going to be getting more paper and I want to make sure I finish all my packs. So anyway, so those are the things. Let me get already situated here. Um, okay, so we need dimensionals in the bone folder. So let's just get everything out and we'll go from there. Ooh this because I'm always losing everything and I said that and I think I already lost my um, adhesive so somehow I know it's here but somehow it's already lost so I don't know what happened I'm always losing everything here well we might need to open a new one because who has time for that I don't know I don't know I know it's here but I'm sure I'll find it by the time we're done with the with the class um it drives me nuts every single time this happens because I know it was here I was I was using it earlier today so hmm well let's just go with a new one because I don't want to be so anyway we're gonna go ahead and use a new one because seriously I don't know what happened with my adhesive seriously anyway it will be okay Plus, I think I needed also like a new one regardless, so that's good. Oh, and I'm using one of the Seal, um, Seal Plus, as you can see. Um, I am loving more and more this, this one, seriously. I think that they are really good. And, um, and they're not as complicated, you know? Like, I feel like sometimes they get, um, the other one, the Seal, kind of, it gets stuck faster but this one is better i think so anyway so i have here my pieces so like i said i'm using the card base from the note cards and then i have two pieces of the uh, designer series paper and this is the hand pen uh, designer series paper my goodness what's happening here um which is this one and you can see lots of different colors one side has more colors and the other one is more like a monochromatic or just one color with white as you can see so definitely a good pack to have this one is called hand painted designer series paper and i have two pieces from that pack one is um both of them are the same um, measurement so it's two by four and you can see i'm using both of the sides so it's the same um and this the same thing for this one is two and a by four 
and like I said I'm going to be using both of the sides and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of put them in um, like Cricut then I'm also going to have well I have another piece of the designer series paper and this one is three quarters of an inch if I remember this correctly let me see yeah three quarters of an inch kind of yeah by like three inches okay is that right three and a half probably hold on what am i doing yeah three and a half like no 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 there's something wrong here and then i've already that cut um one of the shapes or the labels from the hippo and friends and um this one is one of my favorites let me just show you here and it is the second from the largest to the smallest one so the one in the middle from this shape these ones are really really good to have because as you can see you get different uh, shapes for the uh, labels okay so I have that one and then I have a circle that is about two let's see like two and one quarter just to go inside and then here's what I'm going to be adding my sentiment and this is just a scrap a half of an inch by this is too long it's like four and a half we're only going to be needing like this much right because that's where i'm going to be stamping the thanks so much now because this is photopolymer we're going to bring also our um pierce mat okay and we're going to be stamping those two pieces first so first i'm going to go ahead and bring the um what is this the basic gray and I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to go and stamp somewhere here. Okay. Now, anytime I'm using photopolymer, I'd like to use the um, pierce mat. I feel like I get a better transfer of the image. And so that's why I'm doing that. The next thing is we're going to be doing the thanks so much because like I said, I feel like I need lots of thank you cards. And so this one will be great. I can pretty much make a whole pack of those, um, of the pack that is 20 cards, right? And it will be super, super easy. All right. So, okay. Then for this section, the next thing is um, I'm going to be using the... Highland header and the mint macaron. I'm going to put the mint on this side. Hopefully I don't get them all mixed up. And then I'm going to bring the flowers. Now, one of the things that I love about this one is that it doesn't match perfectly the line image that you stamp, leaving a little bit of that white um, areas. And it looks very artistic. Now for this one, I'm just going to be stamping up once and then going into my flower and you can see it's leaving a little bit of that white which makes it look really nice okay and same thing with this one we're gonna add this one stamp off and then kind of line it up but again it's not gonna match so if it's not matching you're not doing anything wrong it's that's the way it is and you can see how different it looks like I said it looks very artistic from that end Okay, then I'm going to bring, I have the leaves, and on these ones, I'm just going to go with this. Alrighty. And then I'm going to bring my um, blender pen. I always like to check that I don't have any other color. This is like a marker without any color. And what it allows you to do is pick up some of the color from, if you have the new type of, of, uh, of pads, then you can bring your block, take some ink, and then pull it from here. But this is an old one, so I had already squeezed. And so I can take some of the color from the leaf. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the color because like I said, this one will allow me to get the marker in any color and kind of look like a watermark, right? There you go. Now, every time you use it, make sure you um, clean it. That way it's ready to go. 
And this is why I always check it, just in case I forgot to do this step. Because you will get that color on your next project. So you want to make sure that it's all clean before you move on. Okay? So now we have those pieces. And we're ready to go to assemble. And so here is what it's going to start looking. And see how simple this looks, right? Now for these pieces though, we're going to be using our Taylor Tag Punch. And we're going to cut out the ends. I'm just going to line it up. And then same thing with this one. Probably. Like I said, this one was too long. We don't need it that long. Oh, I'm, move, I'm moving the the phone. There you go. Oh, I feel like it's a little bit off. There you go. All right. And so now let's bring and like I said, these ones comes already pre uh, score. I still like to uh, make sure they're like lined you know like corner to corner and i still would use my um bone folder to make sure i have a nice crisp uh, fold on my card then i'm going to go ahead and put this ones like so and i want them kind of like in an angle and off a little bit right like something like that right so let's go ahead and add adhesive where is adhesive oh here i'm like oh my gosh i just opened a new one and i already lost it again Telling you, it's kind of crazy how fast I lose things in my room. All right, and so I'm going to be putting one kind of like here, and then the other one. I feel like I am. I'm going to move it a little bit here. I feel like I am too too close, if you will. And so same thing, it's going to be kind of like in, in an angle. And then we're going to have this ones. Now I was thinking about putting this one and then this one. Yes. See that? And then this one pop up, right? And where's the sentiment? And then half the sentiment. Oh, not that way, not upside down, but something like this. And then a bow here. I think it will look really nice. So let's just go with that. So this one will be flat. And you can see super, super easy. Just, it will help you use your, um, your designer series paper. And like I said, you can create 20 of these super, super easy. All right, let me get the dimensionals. I know I had them here. Here we go. I probably need the other ones. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna put three of those. Oh, and like I said, um, you, when you place an order with me that is use, using this host code, that is um, at least $35, you'll get the card kit to make these cards, okay? Um, it does have to be $35, and also uh, it has to be placed by um, by this Saturday, which is going to be January 1. Can you believe that? It's already January. This is crazy. Where does the year went, right? I mean, seriously, it went by too fast. Ooh. Where did it go, right? So anyway, we're going to put this one, like, right here. And then I'm going to be adding a, oh, I probably should have, that's okay. It's still okay. It's not going off too much. And then I'm going to be using this one, which is the Fresh Frisia um, Open Whip Ribbon. Even though this is not Highland Header, I thought it, it was looking really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one. Oh, I see what's happening. I have... 
was trying to see if you could hear me and I put some of the volume on my other cell phone and I was like what what am I hearing like I hear voices is that crazy it was me on the other phone this is crazy <laughs> and I was like oh my gosh I hear voices now oh look at that look at how beautiful this looks right um okay so now let's just go with uh with um glue it and by the way so i just ran out of my first um what is this glue dots the ones that are folded in these and what i did is that i saved this one and then rewind a new one so that way i have all my dots here because oh my goodness it was driving me crazy and even though you can fold it and put it here i don't know what it is it's still i'm still not too happy with that so anyway so just a quick tip there um but anyway so here we go and then I'm going to be adding some of the rhinestones, which it's the free gift. And I feel like I am all, oh, ah, okay, much better. I'm like, I'm all weird. Um, this is the gift that you'll get, uh, of course, a brand new pack. But this is the gift that you get if your order is $50 or more. Um, and again, the order has to be placed by um, January 1st, so by Saturday. Oh, and look at this. And what I'm doing here is I am coloring with the Highland header, the dark, so that I can have the gems in any color that I want. You do have to be gentle. Try not to go too fast because you don't want to be messing up the tip of your, of your marker, right? So just be gentle. But I love that you'll get, um, and I'm doing several because I'm pretty sure you're going to be using them in the next card. So I'm just doing it right now so that we're ready to go. So I'm just doing several of them. I feel like that will be enough. All right, then we're going to be taking the take your pick. Take your pick, I think, yeah. And then we're just going to go ahead and see like I feel like I can put two of them like right here because there was like all that white area and then I'll put one more here and then maybe one more here and I'll do Ooh, there you go look at that and so there you have it and like I said I love that there's envelopes if we have time uh, we'll do one of the envelopes as well um, because I do want to make sure we finish up today soon. Anyway, so that was card number one. So here's card number two. And again, we're going to be doing this again. Now for this one, my, like I said, the card base is from the note cards. And I have um, a piece that is, where's my ruler here? This one is um, two and seven eights, which could have been three. I don't know what I picked, two and seven eights, but okay, two and seven eights. I'm pretty sure it was that scrap, or maybe it's not, because then I have four and seven eights. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then I have a piece that is one, yeah, one inch by four and seven eights. I have a scrap of the mint macaron, and then this one is a half of an inch, and again, it's like five and three eighths, which this is where we're going to be putting the sentiment. So the length doesn't matter. I think that we need about three inches. And then we have a scrap of the Highland header. And this one is uh, about five inches by half of an inch. All right. Um, so we're going to be stamping our sentiment and the flowers here, same as we did on the other one. So let's just do real quick. Um, So I'm using basic gray. There we go. And then we're gonna be doing the stamping of the thank you, the thanks so much. There we go. All right, and then we're going to be coloring again. 
Oh, Sharon, you're asking where these, these are in the annual catalog. I'll show you here in a second where they are, but there are $7. Um, it's where you find the envelope section. Oh no, we need to stamp here. Never mind. I'll show you here in a second where I found them, Sharon. Um, but like I said, these are super great because um, you get 20 of them. And they're already the pre-score. There's envelopes and they're only $7, which I thought it was a really good deal. Um, and we have them in basic white and also in the... Um, what is the other color? Very vanilla. So you can do either or, you know? And let's just rank the... Ooh, what did I do with the other one? Here. With the mint. Alright, where's the... There we go. And next week, we're going to have the release of the new catalog. So um, make sure you're here because I will be sharing some uh, new products. We're going to talk about celebration. I have a brand new event that you can earn um, when you ship with me during celebration. So make sure you tune in next week because we'll talk more about um my first ever celebration celebration <laughs> which i'm excited about um this is the first time i'm offering and uh, i think it's going to be a fun event um which you can earn as you uh purchase with me and you earn some products so so again make sure you are here next week um because yeah definitely we're going to have a brand new catalog and celebrations to start so that's always exciting, exciting time. See, we didn't need that much. And then we're going to go ahead and, yeah. All right, so now that we have these, uh, let's just bring everything back. Now, um, same thing, we, I used the same die, but this time I did it in the Highland header. Oh, good deal, Sharon. Glad, glad you got the new catalog. What, what is your favorite? so far um, there's so many great uh, products that I'm just in love with it and of course I always say that but seriously I think that this catalog is really really good hi Carol all right so now we're gonna be putting this one first um, for me I think that the rainbows and the tulips are one of my favorites because I love the rainbows. I love the tulips. And the rainbows coordinate with the paper that is coming on the on celebration. Right? And so I just I just love when there's some coordination, you know? It just makes it so easy to make cards that way. So definitely couldn't go wrong with that. Okay, so now we're gonna be adding this one here and then this one here. That's how I was picturing this one. There you go. Yes. Okay. So let's just put first this one. All right. Let's look for the direction. Oh. And it's one eight. Oh, the windmill. I know. That one That one is a tough one. I love the dice, the windmill uh, set. I love the dice on that one. Um, but I don't know about the stamp set itself, you know? That was a tough one. I'm sure I'm going to be getting it. I didn't get it this time, at least not on the pre-order. Um, because I was just doubtful. Although, like I said, I love, 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 love the dice. Uh, I love the windmill. I love the bicycle. I feel like it looks so cute. So, <laughs> so I'm sure I will be caving in pretty soon. <laughs> That's how it happens. But see how beautiful this looks, right? And even though this one has more colors, because there's a little bit of dust purples 
it goes really well, right? So, anyway. So we're going to go ahead and put this one like so. And then we're going to be adding this one with dimensionals. Um, let's just see. We're going to be adding this one right here. And then we're going to be putting this one right here, right? And so this one might need like two of the little ones. So let's go with the little ones and then a bow. So I'm going to be putting them right in the corners, right? And then I'm going to be adding some adhesive here. Oh, maybe on the other side. There you go. And... There we go. Okay, and then we're going to be doing another bow. Where is the ribbon? Hmm. I know it's here. Oh, yeah, here it is. It's like, I know it's here. And the next card is going to be even easier. Hold on, I'll show you here. Like I said, this um, this one is one of those that you want to be making lots of cards. And then using your designer series paper. There you go. Look at that. And then, of course, we're going to be putting some of the gems that we color. Let's just use this one with one of these and i feel like those two looks okay i don't think i'm going to be using more oh maybe we can put one on this flower you know oh yes 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 it kind of loses a little bit but it still looks really nice right there kind of adds something thank you so much for sharing marilyn it always helps me so much when you share the cards or the videos i should say so anyway so here is card number one and number two look how beautiful um, and though I'm using different papers, they kind of look like a set, don't you think? Okay, so now we're going to be doing the last card, and then we'll do one of the envelopes, because I feel like that will be really nice as well. Okay, so this one, very simple. Um, I have here a piece of the designer series paper. Again, it's a hand-painted designer series paper. This one is 3 and 3 8 by 4 and 7 8. Then I have one of the um, escalopes from the escalope the rectangles from the escalope contours. Yeah, escalope contours. And I've used the second one from the largest to the smaller one. So it's this one. Okay. Um, and then I have a piece of Highland header. I mean, we cannot go wrong if we go with purple, right? <laughs> this one is two and five eighths by um, three and seven eighths. So this one is gonna go right here. And then I have a piece of the designer series paper and I think this one is two and one quarter, let me see. No, two and a half by three and three quarters. So there's going to be a small little edge on those. And then this is where we're gonna be adding our sentiment. So this is a scrap of um, a half of an inch by like three. So let's just do the stamping on this one because that's pretty much it on this one. Um, and then we'll do one of the envelopes so that you can see how you can do this. And that look really, really cute so that you can embellish your... We're going to be centering this one. You can embellish your, um, your cards and have it as a car set. Like I said, I'm doing thank you cards, and you can do also this one as birthdays as well, right? Um, you can also um, do this as a car set and gift it away as well, as a way to say thank you, you know? So lots of options with this one. Now, this one, I'm trying to see, let me see. 
because yeah, I want it long, definitely. All right, so let's start putting this together. Um, folder. Thank you so much for for sharing, Pat. I really appreciate it. Okay, so now we're gonna have this one. And look how beautiful. I love this side. And you can also use this with any of the different um, color combinations that we have, right? So I went by, um, or I went with the uh, purples and the mint macarons, right? Because um, I love the purple. But clearly, you can use, you can go with the pinks or the yellows. Um, you can also go with the pool party. So there's lots of colors in this set. So if you're not into purple, uh, which I don't know why, because it looks gorgeous. But if you're not into purple, you can definitely um, pick a different one um, and see how easy it is. You can also use, um, you can use all of these designs or the layout with any of the, oh, of the paper packs. Oh, oh, oh please don't. Of the paper packs too. There you go. I'm like, what happened here? There you go. Mm, you know what? I'll put this one flat and then maybe right No, because I want this one to be raised. Okay. So no. For a second, I thought, let's just race it. But I think I want the thanks being raised with dimensionals. There you go. Alrighty. Ooh. Also, look for the orientation on your paper as well, right? Oh, thank you so much, Sharon, for sharing. Really appreciate it. And so, see, I'm going to be putting this one here, and then let's just do the bow first. But look how simple and how beautiful this looks. Like that, that paper is just gorgeous. It is really what it is. The paper is just amazing. It goes really well by itself. So I can put something like this, yes. All right, so let's just cut it out. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Glad you're liking it. Oh, you're so sweet, Sharon. Thank you, thank you. And so let's just bring the dimensionals. Oh, I'm off camera. And we need one more. Okay, and then we're going to bring the glue that, and we're going to go ahead and add this one right here. And then we're going to go ahead and add some of the gems, of course. And so I can add... Maybe that one and that one, and then, oh, there you go. I could probably use another one since I have it already, right? <laughs> and there you have it. See? So here are the three cards. Now I'm going to bring the envelope and then let's just make one of the envelopes so you can see how this will go. And you can mail these, right? Like this size is still good enough for you to mail with one of the stamps, uh, regular stamps from um, in the U.S. at least. So let's just see. So let's just go with one of them. Of course, I would probably be doing three of them. And let's just bring our paper. Now, as far as paper, I could go. Oh, you know what? Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, okay. So we can use this one. Let me see. 
Yes. That way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? So we're going to be putting this one and then a stamp here. I think that will be looking nice. Now, um, let's just think about this. So this flap, it's, uh, with a two would be fine, right? You see that? And then the length, it's about five and one eighth. Okay, so we just need a strip that is two. So let's just go ahead and bring a two. Right? And we're going to go ahead, before we do that, let's do the stamping. So I want to put one of the same flowers here. Um, okay. And I'm just going to be putting it, yeah, like so. And you know what? Um, my friend Jan always do these. She always embellished the the envelopes. I love getting her cards and seeing the envelope as well. I usually mail my cards with clear envelopes because I feel like everyone can see the um, everyone can see your card as it is traveling. So I love that. But seeing her envelopes every single time embellished, it's just I don't know. It just makes it the same equally equally amazing <laughs> um carol yes these are the uh, note cards with the envelopes so yeah so definitely um it's been really really nice so let's go ahead and add now the leaves with the mint macaron let's just see And again, these are not going to match perfectly, right? Um, no, not this one. The small one for this one. There you go. And then we're going to bring our... Um, uh, blender. Now... Because I use the basic grate, you don't want to be uh, going through with your blender too much because it will take that gray as well, okay? So you want to make sure that you go once quickly instead of going over and over and over because you're going to pick up some of the gray and smear your image and have kind of like a, I don't know, like a muddy um, color or, yeah, image. So you don't want that. Uh, let me close all that. So let's just go ahead and now we're going to go ahead and put adhesive on this section. And actually I'm going to be putting it like so. Oh. oh, I can hear my little Addy. She's not happy. I don't know what happened. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this one. Oh, actually, let's put it this way because that's how the recipient is gonna see it. Okay, once you have it this way, then you're just gonna follow the envelope, cut it out. And see how beautiful, let me just put it this way because you can see how beautiful this looks, right? I mean, it just looks like a set. And when you mail it, wouldn't you like it? So hard to use the DSP on the... <laughs> Why? Because it's going to be ripped up. You know, 
I sometimes um, do the same. Like, I always struggle sometimes. But to be honest, I have so much paper that I feel like if I share a little bit more, then I will be pretty much just defying all the buying I do on paper. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. But I see your point. Um, so, anyway, so let's just put all the cards and you let me know which one is your favorite. So, this is card number one. This one was card number two. And then this is card number three. Oh, why am I off camera? Like, let me put this one here so I have more space here. There you go. Oh, I feel like I am like all weird. I don't know. It's so weird. So, anyway, like this thing is not. Whatever. So, you can tell me which one is your favorite. You've never sent a naked. Oh, Jolie, that's. Perfect. Like I said, my friend. Oh, that brought me. Let me show you some of the samples, not samples, but some of the cards that I've gotten um, this week. Um, and you tell me which one is your favorite. Hold on. I'll put them back again because I forgot to share it with you. But yeah, like I said, I love seeing the envelopes and some people do embellish them. So this one is from Linda and you can see her beautiful card. Um, look how beautiful and it uses a lot of the designer series paper as well so definitely love that one then i got this one from dawn and um here is her car and look how beautiful um and then she added some of those sequins is that not really nice <laughs> and then this one is from uh betsy look how beautiful this looks and oh my goodness she did a lot of work with the with the background it feels like she used them the embossing paste and it just looks really nice using the painted christmas which is one of my favorites and i don't know if you can catch it but there's also wink of estella on this one's which it makes it look even nicer um all right then we have this one this one came from marisa alvarez from the uh kitchen table stampers yeah and I just love everything about it. It's just beautiful. And funny thing is she has a video and I was watching it today. And it's actually for these cards. I mean, the video that I saw today. Not that she posted it today, but I thought that was pretty cool. And then here is, uh, like I said, one of the cards from my friend Jan. And of course she had it, um, she's not sending. Oh, let me go over here, as you can see. But you can see the, the envelope, right? And um, look how beautiful her car is using that bedazzling paper from um, the last celebration. And then, oh my goodness, this one, oh, I just love this one. This one is from Sandy Altman. And look how beautiful this looks. And she even uh, decorated the inside with designer series paper as well. So it looks really nice. And look how beautiful this looks with that. This is from the Marius Moments bundle, I believe, if I'm correct. So definitely love, love, love how it goes. And then this one is from um, Pat Stewart from Illinois. From Wheaton, is that right? Yeah, Wheaton, Illinois. So look at that. Oh, I love the trees and then the bosun with the trees. And then, of course, that reindeer um, with the deer punch, right? So definitely, definitely really, really nice car. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Lots of work, yes. <laughs> so anyway, so let's just go back real quick so that we can finish the video for today. So here are the cards we did. Again, I would probably decorate all three envelopes. Oh, and I didn't share where this came from. So these are from the animal catalog. So let me just find it really quick. It's on the section where we have the envelope. So let me... Let me get here it is. So it's page 136, right? So you can see it here. 136. Oh, I don't know that you can see it. Yeah, there you go. 136. And it is on this section. Is it not cars and envelopes? And it's $7. And we have the very vanilla and the basic white. And it comes, like I said, with 20 of them, which I think is a great value. Because, I mean, you only have to be playing with your um, designer series paper and decorate them and you're ready to go right because everything else is pretty much done like the envelopes and the card bases are there so anyway so thank you so much i'll see you next week don't forget to place your order using that host code again if it is 35 dollars, you get the card kit to make these cards and if it is 50 dollars, then you also get the card kit plus you get the 
uh, the rhinestones as well. So I really appreciate it and thank you so much. Bye for now. <laughs>